Today I'm going to talk about 7 ways to motivate yourself at work. Being an entrepreneur is one of the hardest things you're ever going to do in your life and it can be hard to stay motivated day in day out and get up and hustle and get back to work driving forward on your goal. So today I'm going to share with you 7 different ways that you can use to keep yourself motivated. Number one is do what you love. This might sound obvious, but if you look at famous entrepreneurs, the consistent message over and over and over and over again is that they love what they did, that they would do the work that they were doing even if they weren't getting paid to do it. To do something that I love doing. I love building teams. Love the process of solving the problems. That's how much love I have for this thing that I do. I love every minute of it. Really love to do. Get involved in things that you love. You're so passionate, excited, and in love with. Too many entrepreneurs, unfortunately, don't really deeply, meaningfully love what they do. They're doing it because they see an opportunity. They're doing it because their friends said they can make a lot of money. They're doing it because, you know, this magazine said it was a hot opportunity or hot business to start. That's why a lot of people do get into business. They're just seeking the money. And if that's your only goal, it's not gonna work out. You're gonna quit as soon as it gets hard. You need to be doing work that you love, that makes you come alive, that you're not just chasing some target of being a millionaire, but you love the process of getting there. You don't see it as tons of insane hard work that's gonna kill you to get there and then you're gonna be happy. You love the insane hard work. You live for the insane hard work. If you don't have that kind of love and commitment to the work that you're doing, then you will quickly lose your motivation and you won't be a successful entrepreneur. Number two is remind yourself of the impact that you have. One of the challenges I found early on in my career was I would go and meet with a bunch of entrepreneurs and really help them, really inspire them and help change their lives. And then the next day I'd wake up and it would be gone. Like poof, where did that motivation go? And I may not get my next speaking gear or meet my next entrepreneur for another week or another month. And there'd be a big lull in between. And so I had to remind myself constantly of the work that I was doing and how important it was. One of the things that really helped me was I made a PowerPoint file of all the different quotes that people left for me, whether it was uh, at an event or they sent an email saying thank you so much, that I would watch on a daily basis just to, in the morning, remind myself of, hey, the work that I'm doing is touching people's lives. It may not be a lot of people, but it's touching some people's lives. And so, Knowing that I was having an impact made me want to do more and more and more. Now I'm fortunate that I have my YouTube channel and you guys leave comments every single day. We get hundreds of comments daily. And so that's the easy juice. I look at those daily because that keeps me fired up to let me know that, hey, I'm not just waking up on another day, I'm waking up and I'm making a difference. And so I need to continue to do that to continue to have an impact. So I'm spoiled now. Keep doing it, I really appreciate it. But for those of you who you know, don't have that or are just getting started, you can do what I did. You know, Write something and put it on the wall or make a PowerPoint file of the quotes from your clients, from your customers, you're seeing that, hey, the work that I'm doing is meaningful, is changing people's lives. Three is change your environment. It can be really hard to do great things when you're not surrounded by greatness. And that doesn't mean you have to go and work uh, at you know, the top floor of some downtown office to get the great environment, you can make your environment better right now. You know, I would think about where are you working? What's your workspace look like? What's on the walls around you? What's on your computer? What's on the desktop background? Uh, what's on your phone? Are there messages to remind you? What's your morning routine look like? What are the resources that you're feeding into your head? You know, what videos are you watching? Are you spending your time watching, you know, prank videos? Or are you trying to fill your head with knowledge that will help you become a better person and a better entrepreneur? All of these things matter. And if you made one weekly change to improve your environment, you'll start seeing the greater confidence in yourself the greater momentum that you're building for your business and you'll see a lot more motivation for yourself because you can't help it. You're in a motivating environment, right? Create that motivating environment for yourself and you'll be more motivated. Number four is help a customer. Sometimes we can get lost in the big picture. Sometimes we can get frustrated that we're not going fast enough, that we're not moving fast enough, that we're not hitting our goals fast enough. We get frustrated, right? We have this belief in ourselves to go off and change the world. Meanwhile, you're struggling to you know, pay the bills. And that can be really hard. That can be hard to stay motivated when you feel like you're talented and you're, you're gifted, you can offer a lot of value and it's just not working out. One of the things that really helped me 
continuously motivated is just helping one customer out. Helping a customer out, talking to them, getting to know their problems, walking them through it, giving them a solution, making one person feel happy makes you feel happy. At least it makes me feel happy. Knowing that I talked to this person today and I gave them a solution that's really gonna help them in their business or their life, that makes me feel good. I'm, I'm riding cloud nine for the rest of the day. Even if things might be falling apart all around me, knowing that I helped that one person today made me feel good and continue to motivate me for the rest of the day. And so try to help a customer on a regular basis because it'll make you feel good about the work that you're doing. Number five is do what you've been putting off. Entrepreneurs like to build lists, right? We like to build our list of to-dos and it seems like the to-do list just, just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. We keep adding on our to-do list and quite often there's something on our to-do list that we need to get done we've just been putting off. We've been putting it off because we're afraid to do it, it's too hard to do it, we might get rejected, it might not work and so it just stays on that list week after week, month after month and no action gets taken on it. Where to be the greatest entrepreneur you can be, to be the best version of yourself, you need to push through these fears and these limiting personal beliefs. And you need to do those things that you are afraid of. You need to do that thing that you've been putting up because that's the thing that can potentially really help explode your business. And when, you, when you've been putting something off for a long time and then you finally decide today is the day I'm gonna tackle it, I'm gonna cross it off my list, it's gonna get done, and then you do it, Ah, you feel so good. You feel so energetic. You feel so happy. And you're really motivated that you've gotten that thing off and then you start seeing everything else start getting checked off your list of to do. So do the thing that you've been putting off and it can spread a lot of motivation for you for the rest of the day, week, month to keep going. Number six is take a break. I know how hard it is to be an entrepreneur and, and you're grinding and you're hustling and you're pouring everything you've got into it. And sometimes putting more work on the same path is not the answer. And sometimes to discover that, you need to step away. You need to step up. If you've ever noticed why you get so many great ideas when you go on vacation or you get so many great ideas when you're walking or playing a sport or in the shower, why do you get so many ideas there? Because you're taking a break from the work. Now obviously you need to do the work, right? If you're just constantly breaking, you're just coming up with ideas and never do anything, you need to do the work. But entrepreneurs sometimes just don't take enough of a break. And that doesn't mean you need to go off on some three month vacation and totally disconnect from everything. Maybe that's the answer, but it doesn't have to be. And you may not be able to afford that or be in that situation. Taking a break could just be going for a walk around the block, walking to the coffee shop, going for a shower. If you feel stuck, quite often the best solution is to break and come back to it and you'll get an answer. Where if you just try to plow through, it often just yields more frustration and less results. So if you're feeling not motivated, you're feeling a lack of, of progress, take a break. Go do something else. Accomplish something else. Check off something that's been on your personal list for a while. And doing that gives you strength and motivation and momentum that you can fuel back into your business as well. And number seven is change your work. So I mentioned the first point about you gotta love what you do. If you're constantly finding yourself not motivated, not motivated, you gotta constantly do all these things to try to bump up your morale, then maybe, just maybe, you're in the wrong field. Maybe you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. Now, every entrepreneur is gonna have hard days, hard weeks, hard months, you know, it's a lot of hard times. But you have to have enough good there. There has to be enough that keeps you alive, that makes you want to keep doing this. And if you're just waking up every day totally unmotivated, then it might be time to look in the mirror and say, maybe this is not the thing that I should be doing. And I think a lot of people don't give themselves the opportunity to explore enough. A story that I like to tell is, if you think about the greatest hockey player of all time, somebody might say Wayne Gretzky, or the greatest basketball player of all time, you might say Michael Jordan. I would contest that the greatest basketball player of all time is not Michael Jordan. The greatest basketball player of all time 
you've never heard of him because he never picked up a basketball. And so now he's a manager at a coffee shop or he's a janitor or he's a mechanic or he's a lawyer or he's, you know, nothing wrong with any of these potential fields, but he's living a life less than what he could be. He's living a life under his true potential. And so Michael Jordan is now the greatest basketball player of all time instead of this guy because he never picked up a basketball, because he never explored enough to find what he could be great at. And so you wanna make sure you're spending the time doing the activities that make you come alive. You need to enjoy the work. And if you're not getting it and you're constantly unmotivated, I look at, maybe this isn't the right path for me. So those are my seven ways to help you stay motivated at work. I'd love to know what you think. Leave it in the comments below. Which one was your favorite? Which one do you resonate most with? I'd also love to know if you wanna to add to the list. How do you stay motivated at your work that I didn't mention yet? Leave it in the comments below. I'm gonna join in the discussion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Continue to believe and I'll see you soon.